Hey everybody, Dr. Janine Krause here. Some things to think about when you are returning to fitness over 40. Now, you can't bust out and do the same workouts you did in your 20s. Chances are you're watching this because you're realizing that the old school stuff isn't working. Those two a day workouts aren't getting you where you need to be. Maybe you're just completely wiped out after certain workouts and you're like, man, something is missing here. What is it? So things you wanna be thinking about. Where's your balance? Where's your muscle memory at? How's your strength overall? Are you doing something that builds strength? And now what do I mean about that? I mean about are you doing something that helps you improve your muscles? Or are you doing just pure cardio? Pure cardio can wear you down over time. You want muscles as you get older. You're not gonna bulk up if you lift some weights. You're not gonna bulk up if you use machines or even bands for that matter. And in fact, I recommend starting with bands before you even move into weights if it's been quite some time since you've done any workouts. You could use lighter weights, but bands kind of are a nice little ease into things. The other big thing is balance. If your balance is off, your body's off. And you may have some imbalances in your muscles in terms of strength. One arm might be stronger than the other. One leg might be stronger than the other. Now naturally, sometimes that happens based on your dominant side, but you may have one that's restricted because of mobility. So you're wanting to be thinking about balance in the muscles, but also balance neurologically. So neuro plus muscle and mobility. So you definitely want to be thinking about finding a trainer that's gonna put you through a mobility assessment. How do your shoulders move? Can you reach overhead? Can you reach behind you? Can you pat yourself on the back? These are important things. If you can't, these are going to create imbalances in terms of how you do things. Same thing goes with how do your knees move, your hips move, your back, all of it. You want at least an assessment of all of that so your person knows what you need to be working on to help you with your mobility and to be looking for imbalances. Now the next thing is looking at your true balance. How well can you balance on one foot? How well can you balance if you put your leg out and you do toe taps? How well can you balance if you're bouncing a tennis ball? That's where we talk about agility. Now agility drills can be things like how fast can you move working on a ladder? Now not going up the ladder, but putting a ladder on the ground. Can you do little hops back and forth? Can you hop? Can you jump over something like a dumbbell? Or is that impossible? These are very important things to know where you're at. This is why an assessment is crucial. And sadly, I'm seeing ladies go into these boot camp types of gyms or gyms where it's just like you go in and you get a great sweat on, which is lovely, but there's no plan. There's no assessment. There's nothing behind it to give you a progression that you need to reach whatever goal you're going for, but also one for safety, first and foremost. So thinking about this is crucial. And this is why when you return to fitness, you do want someone in your corner. You want a trainer or a coach or even a doc who understands fitness like me to be able to guide you through things. The next really important factor here is your cardiovascular health. Has your heart rate went up? Has your blood pressure went up? Have you had a check by a cardiologist to make sure everything's working okay there? And if everything is good, great but you do wanna make sure you look into that before you return to fitness. I don't want it to be a barrier. Say you're waiting because your doc's like, ah, oh, we can't get you in the cardiologist for months. Okay, let's be realistic here. If your blood pressure is not incredibly elevated and, and you're, you're okay with movement, you probably can do some workout progressions that'll actually improve your heart rate and your blood pressure over time. But really key like warning factors here is if you start to get chest pain with workouts and that chest pain takes forever to resolve right that's kind of scary that could be a magnesium issue it could be a breathing issue but it could also be signs of something worse so you want to make sure you get that evaluated but in the meantime you can move don't sit on the couch there are simple progressions you can go through and this is why it's useful to have a doc who understands fitness to help you to get you started right so monitoring your heart rate Monitoring your heart rate variability. This is another thing that you can use to gauge are you recovered from workouts, things of that nature. You wanna be recovering before, you wanna be recovered before you go into your next workout. So returning to fitness, you want to be paying attention to your heart rate. You wanna be paying attention to how well are you recovered because recovery is huge once you get over 40. 
The other big thing is how are you breathing? Are you short breathing? Are you over breathing? Are you not getting enough oxygen into your system? There's something called the Bolt Test. If you've seen any of my other videos about fitness, you might've heard me mention it. And there's a video here on YouTube where I'm talking about the Bolt Test. So blood oxygen level testing. This is something that came to light. It was kind of made famous by Patrick McEwen who has his book, The Oxygen Advantage, website, The Oxygen Advantage. You can learn all about that. But the point is, is doing this test to know how well you are breathing is absolutely crucial for making sure you are progressing in terms of your fitness. You're able to work on your breathing. So really, what's the sum of it? Breathing with your nose, not with your mouth. Working on nose breathing. Mitochondria, as we get older, our little factories in our cells are not as effective as they once were. So those mitochondria, those guys could be lacking a little bit. They could be a little bit tired. We need to work on priming them. How do you do that? working on targeted heart rate conditioning workouts. So paying attention to where your heart rate's at, just like I was talking about with cardiovascular health, but getting into zones that are gonna help to train you to create more mitochondria. This is huge, you can do this as you get older. More mitochondria equals better, blah, 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 better metabolism. More mitochondria, better metabolism. This is huge and that means lots of things, health, energy, etc. So you can build this watching your heart rate. Gut health, nutrition, absolutely key here. Obviously, we probably figured out you can't eat like you did in your 20s when you're in your 40s. Same thing applies to around fitness. You want to be making sure that you are eating foods closest to nature, healthful, nutritious foods. You're not relying on junk foods because these are not going to get you anywhere. All those energy bars, all those protein powders, all that stuff, nice but not as useful as they used to be because they're harder to digest. They're harder for you to break down. So you want to be thinking closest to nature. You want to be thinking about balanced nutrition and good gut health, making sure your gut is absorbing those nutrients so you can get them to the mitochondria so that you can ramp up your metabolism as you're returning to fitness. So what is the sum here? When you return to fitness over 40, there are some certain key factors that you need to be paying attention to as you ease into fitness. Going straight out of it, out of the gates like crazy fast if you've been out of fitness for six months or more can get you injured. It's really important to make sure you're paying attention to your balance of your muscles, what's going on with your joint mobility, what is going on with muscle memory. Your muscles will remember if you were an athlete before, your muscles are going to bounce back a little bit faster. If you were not, then you're gonna have a little bit of a learning curve to go through, but that's okay. You can build all of this with age if you have these things dialed in. You definitely wanna make sure that whoever you're working with, a trainer, a coach, someone online, that they understand the specific needs of returning to fitness and what it takes to get you back on point. You wanna plan, you wanna plan with progressions and you wanna plan with retesting. If you didn't see my other video about how to work on your athletic capabilities, I highly recommend checking that out. It kind of brings everything full circle in terms of what you need to be thinking about as you return to fitness and who you wanna be looking for to work with as you return to fitness. The key crucial factors to keep yourself healthy, safe, but also progressing and getting those results you want. I'm Dr. Janine Krauss. Thanks for watching.